Gregory. Yo, man. Good yeah. weekend. Yo, probably the best boxing weekend I've ever experienced. <laughs> Yo, shout out to PBC. Shout out to Top Rank. Great card. Um, Deontay Wilder. Yeah, you want Wilder? First round, one punch, one shot. Uh, you were at the media workout. I heard you say something to Malik. Um, talk about that. I was telling him that I like what I see. And what I meant was, I like that Wilder was trying shit. Like he was working on different shit. A lot of times, if you go back to the old Wilder tapes, the, the, the workout tapes, he, he giving you a jab, uh, and then it's, uh, uh, he, it's just the right hand. Like, that was it. Like, I saw Wilder, right? I saw him throw a combination, and then he slipped, slipped, and pivoted out. I was like, oh, shit. Like, to me, to some people, that's like, oh, that's stupid. That's not for him. Yeah, but the fact that he even trying it, for one, one, it tell me that he trusts his trainer. Two, he know he got to add on to his game. And three, he like, fuck it. I'm, I want to learn. I'm, I'm, it's time to go. I need to, I need to really, I mean, get into this boxing shit. Like, I really should be. Um, the fight, we saw them, people... He, it, it, if you don't know what you're looking at, it's like he looked scared. His eyes were real big, he had his eyes open, and he was stepping around, but he had his hands in front of him. He was ready, he was prepared to catch anything that came his way. Helenus was the perfect opponent because Helenus is big and dangerous, but he 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 can be beat. Like we saw. Um Wilder, at that point, what I like, right? When I watched that shit a couple times, T what's up? When I watched it a couple times, right? At first, I was like, oh, shit, he just caught him. Like, that shit ain't even, like, it ain't even really look like nothing. Because his, his, his shit, he ain't even get the extended shit, right? But when I watched it again, he jumped in the corner. He was up in the air. But, like, at a split second, he fixed his feet real quick. He fixed his feet and set it enough where he could get enough power generated on that right hand. And he shot the right hand. He knocked uh, Landis out. It was just, I mean, that was, that's going to happen. It's Deontay Wilder. He could punch. Did you see a transference from what you said to Lee at the media workout to what you saw in that first round? The trust. It was the trust thing. He trust. He trust what Leek was telling you. That first round, let your body warm up. And I don't know if he told him this specifically, but this is what I'm what I saw. Let your body warm up. Pick up his timing. Feed your fish a little bit. Give him a jab a little bit here and there. I mean, just see where he's coming from. Let your body warm up, though. Most importantly. We got, we got 12 rounds, 10 to 12 rounds. Yeah. So don't go out there looking for the knockout. Helena's walked into the shot. The fact that that happened lets me know he trusts Lee, so we're going to see more next time. That's what I was just going to ask you. Yeah. Does, does that result build, uh, build more of a bond? Build, yeah. okay, now this motherfucker know what he's talking about. <laughs> All right, so whatever you tell me, you tell me jump off a, a, a bridge, I'm doing it. Right, that's what I'm saying. He took, the, he took the little bit he was able to do from working in camp. I'm saying the little bit he was able to do that night because it was only one round. Mm. Um, but he's he going to take that and he's going to say, all right, I trust, I really do trust Lee. Like, I, I'm pretty sure he trusts Lee because in the media day, I saw all types of shit. I saw all types of shit. But now it's like, all right, I got him. Yo, I seen him do a turn hook. And I'm like, that's oh, a oh, turn hook. That's, yeah, that's hook. a Philly yeah. shit. Check hook, yeah. I mean, he was, he, he was on his shit. I saw it in camp, but we always waiting for the fight to see what happened. And I mean, he trust, to me, that means he trusts Lee. He, did, he didn't take really any damage. Nah. So now, would you hop in the gym right away? You take some time off? What? I mean, he had a long camp, so of course he's going to take a little bit of time. Family and shit like that. Got to do that. But um, I see him getting back in the gym because... I think March could be ready to go again. Does that make him more dangerous that now Leak has a, uh, another six months to work with him, tune him up, yeah. add some things? Yeah, it is. It is going to make him dangerous because now he, he really believe that shit. And see, the thing is, right, you could try to get disrespectful and be like, well, Wilder, that's not how Wilder fight. And I mean, he don't, he not going to look good doing it. He might not look good doing it, but he still will hurt you. Still will hurt you. So you just, you, you got to respect Wilder all the way around. Got to respect him. And I'm going to be honest. I said a lot of shit. Some of that shit I still, I still stand on. 
But one thing I, I do respect him more actually being up. I seen Wilder before at a party, right, in L.A. But he had clothes on and he, and he it was, you know what I mean, tall as shit. You couldn't really see him. But to see him with his workout clothes on, I didn't know he was that skinny. So I'm like, that motherfucker this skinny. And he in there with them big heavyweights. I give him a little more credit, man. At least skinny as shit, you know what I mean, being real. You know what I mean? But he'll knock you out. And on TV, you can't tell. He look real big on TV. But in person, he's skinny. So to be knocking them heavyweights out like that, you know what I mean? I give him credit. Usyk, Joshua, Ruiz. Who should he fight next? I think Ruiz. Get Ruiz next. That's a great fight. Great build up. It's gonna be a good jump. Um, Joshua got something already lined up, from my understanding, with Areola. Yeah. And um, and I believe Usyk still enjoying his fruit. You know what I mean, he's still eating, so he's good for me. I talked to Wilder's trainer, uh, Wilder's manager. Yeah. Wilder's manager, he's liking that Joshua fight. Yeah. Especially at, at this level, does it come down to the chicken? Yeah, it's going to always come down. It's the heavyweights, man. So it's always going to come down to the money for sure and the risk. And they might not be looking at Joshua right now because Joshua want to high. I mean, uh, Joshua might not be looking at Wilder right now because Wilder want to high. You know what I'm saying? So they might really be like, we ain't trying to fuck with that right now. I mean, he's trying out new shit. It's working for him. He already dangerous. And I mean, just add more to the fire. So I don't know, bro. Did you expect it to end in that fashion? No, nah, I thought they was going to go to like the third or fourth. I didn't think it was going to be a first round draw. I thought it was going to be a knockout, but I thought Helenus was going to be able to do more. But what I realized, Helenus footwork not really there. He got set footwork. He got to be, he got to have you right where he wants you, and his feet got to be right for him to touch you. Otherwise, he's coming out sloppy. He falling in, he reaching. I mean, that's kind of what got him caught, reaching for them shots. Is Wilder the biggest puncher of all time? All time, I don't, I don't know if we can say all time of this time for sure. Of the last, the last, the last 25 years, Wilder's the biggest puncher. I say that. The last 25. Sure. So yes. that put us back at what, 97? Yeah. So yeah. Some hilarious. I weigh Wilder by 40 pounds. Fury outweigh Wilder by 40, 50 pounds. Yeah, he got a dumb punch on him, for real. He definitely gonna put you to sleep. He put my man to sleep. That was crazy. And his legs tightened up, his nerves were shot. Like you seen it. Eyes still open. That was crazy. You know what I'm saying? And he was right though. Like people want to see that shit, but nobody think about these guys' families and what they gotta go through after this shit. It was good to see him walk away from that shit. You know what I mean? But that's the game we in.